story begins with the sinful Antiochus Epiphanes, who is ruling over Israel. Personally, that sounds a little harsh to me. Me, sinful? I don't think so. I rule these people here in, Jer in Israel, and, and if they don't do what I say, I have them killed. Surely that doesn't make me sinful, does it? Really? Oh, no, no, my king. You're not any more sinful than I am. These Hebrews need someone to rule over them. They're fortunate to have you to care so much for them as you do. In fact, I think I should be meaner to the Jewish people. Antiochus loved power. His, became, his behavior became so wild that his own people nicknamed him Epiphanes, meaning man, man. Many uh, from Israel gladly adopted Antiochus religion and cunt customs. Customs they can sacrifice. Sacrifice to Mateus and his sons united with other mighty warriors of Israel. Everyone who offered himself was 
not stopped by Antiochus' attempt to crush their religion. Every time Antiochus, Antiochus attempted to crush Judah and his followers, God gave the Jews victory. King Antiochus sent 60,000 soldiers and 500 cavalry to attack the Maccabees. When Judah saw that the army was strong, he prayed. When his rivals saw how strong his faith was, they fled. I think it's time to leave this horrible place, my king. What do you think? That might be a good idea, Lamb. <laughs> Nominees for the Tony Award 